everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about work from home job opportunities if you are this kind of person that is always looking for work from home opportunities and make money online it's most likely that you also want to know whether these companies that you are trying to work with whether they are legit and whether you are really going to get paid when you work online so i'm going to be sharing my experience both as a freelancer trying to work online and as a youtuber as well so welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is linda Eze. i'm a registered nurse and i work in the uk in this channel i share information about nursing abroad getting jobs abroad remote job opportunities and generally opportunities online okay so if you're interested in any of these things be sure to subscribe and always come back for so me. i'm going to be sharing my experience getting as a freelancer trying to work online trying to get work from home opportunities or trying to offer my skills online and get paid. I'm going to share my experience in two ways. One is as a freelancer when I was still in Nigeria and two as a YouTuber as well, what I have seen in this space, okay? So I have really benefited online. I have done a lot of things in the past online that actually changed my life. I studied online for free and some of those um, courses that I took online is free certification and those courses actually changed my life. I've also worked with Lion Bridge. I've talked about that company in this my channel and I got paid and I people around me were like so this online things actually work so i really really believe in working online and opportunities that we have in this space but then you have i also experienced something so you know that a lot of companies have gone online now and looking for people that work from home and people that and even big companies are going online and and work from home opportunities are beginning to be very popular you have to bear in mind that some other companies that are not legit that want to take your skills and not pay you or the companies that want to take your money for one reason or the other so you we are exposed to all of those things so one of the experiences i've had is listing my skills in one of the freelance websites and i get people contacting me to for their for writing jobs and after writing as a novice like i when i started as a freelancer one of them said okay can you just give me topics to write and then after I finished writing i was told to like okay just submit it and write the second the second topic and then we'll discuss how the payments will go i saw working online and from the website that i actually got those customers i felt okay maybe that's how it is done in this platform they will need to look at your manuscript and see if it are, if it is acceptable and then they will allow you to write more and that was what happened so they kept taking they took my manuscript and then they gave me more topics to write and i never saw them and those we are one of the experiences I have seen online and I really took my time to write those articles I researched and I did my due diligence I said okay now that I want to work online I really want to do my best because I want to what grow happens is that when some people online what they do is drop services so they will go to to websites like Upwork or Fiverr or some of these popular companies and they will list their skills and then they will assource those skills to people living in the Philippines, in Nigeria or Africa, in, in India and then they will contact them to write articles for them so when they finish writing, ideally they are supposed to pay you and then they can submit the articles to wherever they are providing those services and get paid but some of them what they do is that because they know that people living in Africa and some of their countries they might not be able to fight for it or they might not be able to contact them or know how to go about it so they will just take advantage of them they will write and then they will appear that's one of the experiences i had but it taught me to also know that these people no matter where they are from in the world they still have that tendency to exploit people so it made me to be more <coughs> cautious and also my experience with writing and freelancing from nigeria that i decided to okay i must if i'm trying to work online it has to be all these big companies that everybody know that has been existing for a while like amazon like ebay like maybe lion bridge that i worked with and that's how i applied to lion bridge i applied like a real job with my CV as a nurse, you know, and how that was how I got that. That was the very first job online that actually paid me money, apart from getting scholarships and getting opportunities that some other NGOs they offer online. That's the second one that happened to me recently as a YouTuber is a company reaching out to me to talk about they are also freelance websites where they also get people with no experience to help them to watch videos, people's ads and all of that and they, at the end of the day it's free of charge and you are going to get 
uh, paid at the end of the work. I felt, okay, it's good. I said, I asked them all the questions like, okay, how, how does it work? Um, are you registered and everything? So when I researched about them, they are still new. And I asked them, they are still new. They said they are trying to get the work, the word out. So they are rich. They have a program for YouTubers. So now they are, use, they are using YouTubers to just get people to know about their work from home opportunities. And they, it's not just work from home. They also have other things that they serve. I said, oh, that sounds interesting. So oh, I okay. read about them. I saw that they are registered in the US and everything. And then they said, okay, all the questions I asked, okay, why are you asking people to deposit money? So one thing you have to stay if somebody is saying pay any money for you to work. So I asked them, okay, why are you collecting, um, saying, telling people to pay deposit before they can have access to pay and working? They said that they noticed that a lot of their users, because what they pay per tax is really very small, so some people don't really take it serious. They will come to the their web their website or their app and they perform some tax and they will, they will not see them for a while. So that paying money um depositing money is a kind of commitment so when you have you know that you have your money in an app that means you to always make you to come back and perform those tasks but one thing is that when you eventually say that you don't want to work anymore that no problem you take both your deposit and the money that they are going to pay you from the tax and they said okay before you even talk to people about it we are going to allow you to work in the app for a long time and you see how it works i said okay that sounds good so i worked with them and i was able to withdraw and everything and I felt, oh, this is very good. And my interest was, okay, this is something that really works, that everybody will benefit from without getting scammed. At least after I mean this task, you are really going to see your money and you are again going to get paid. You are not going to offer gift card and all of that that some of these survey websites offer that you really make real money. So I felt, oh, that's good. So I reviewed them. So anybody that's registered, I and I know the person, I follow the person up to know, okay, at the end of the seven day free trial, did they actually get paid? And some of them said, okay, I got paid. I said, okay, before I do another review about that company, I will make sure that they have stayed for a while and see what other people actually think about them. And that's what happened. So I said, okay, I'm not going to say any other thing about that company. Let's just watch and see what happened. And all of a sudden one day, they stopped working. Like they closed and their customer care, they were not responding. And one good, good thing i knew about them was that they were always responding they were using valid uk numbers they had registration and a lot of other youtubers were talking about them so i felt okay this is safe and all of that but finally they closed and some people as i'm noticing online some people actually deposited a lot of money so that they can be working so that they can be performing a lot of more tasks with their platform for me because i already have experience i didn't really i just do it when i have time as a nurse as a full-time nurse I don't really have time to be performing micro tasks. What I'm really focusing on now is like building real businesses with my skills. So it's so close. This is my experiences. What I want to share is that even though you want to work from home online, what has worked for me is working with companies that have stayed for a long time, that is legit, that is worldwide, that has stayed for a very long time. And that is, let's say, working with eBay, working with Amazon, working with Lionbridge, working with Apple. And after I talked about that, their video, all the companies I have been sharing, they are companies that have stayed for a long time. So when you look at them online, Apple is a very big company that are recruiting online and you know that when you work, they will pay your money. Lion Bridge the same way, that's the one that I've worked with. I Working with Amazon, working with eBay, maybe Shopify, all those companies that you know that people are using and building real businesses, those are the ones that when you're working, you have this confidence that nothing will happen or that you're, you are reducing the risk. I will not say that nothing will happen, but you are reducing the risk of losing your money and you are building a long-term business. Another thing is that if you're a freelancer and you work from home and you want to teach or you want to be a designer and all of that and you are listing your skills in all these freelancer websites, make sure that if anybody that is telling you to write for them or teach for them or provide any of the skills for them, that they are paying directly to that that website if it is fiverr they are buying your work from fiverr they are not contacting you privately because sometimes they contact you privately and ask you to do the same work for them and maybe reach a different agreement make sure that any agreement you are reaching with anybody as a freelancer is in that platform maybe if you are registered in freelancer.com or upwork.com or fiverr.com make sure that any that they are paying you via fiverr they are paying you via freelancer they are paying you via upwork 
so that you know that at the end of the day you get one because some of them you may feel oh this person is from uk oh this person is from us maybe they are not this kind of people but from my experience it can happen from anywhere so this particular company i told you i talked about it they are only present in the us and the uk so i felt okay this is an area that people know that you cannot easily scam people but see what happened they just closed the app without any reason and if some people that were like some people deposited money they will lose out just like that even me in that app closed with some of the tasks that i performed that they have not paid me is still in that app so you can imagine if any other person that is really that's registered and all of that and maybe deposited a lot of money how they will lose out you may still be able to get your money back but you can imagine the trauma and all of that so so what i know that actually works in this online space how you can actually make a real business how something that will really work for a long time for you in this business is building something it may take more time all this other gets rich like performing tasks and all that we just get you little money like making save um, doing pay surveys sometimes all these other micro tasks that you can do online they will just make you like few bucks but if you really want to build a real business that will last it, it may take time but they are the ones that are actually working so watch other other online gurus like kevin david and some of those people that are really made name in shopify and amazon fba and all of that they started from somewhere and they decided to stay with that particular skill for a long time and that is how they made their money so if you are online if you are anywhere in the world africa or wherever it is you can still succeed online but you have to try and pick one skill and work with it for a long time i started a challenge and we are going to be live on the 25th of this february starting with amazon picking a business in amazon and sticking with it for a long time and we are starting with low um, low content amazon kdp and it requires no money you are registering with amazon for free you are just going to be designing those books and posting it and maybe um, promoting it on your own amazon will also promote it but who have built their kdp business from scratch to thousands hundreds and online so it is something that is possible so what i'm challenging you today is to pick a skill and stay with it for a long time stop moving from one shiny object to the so other i hope you learned something from this video i want to hear your own experience have you been scammed trying to work online let me hear in the comment section below have you decided to stick with one thing that is the message of this video. Pick a skill and really build it. Pick a platform and build your skill. Build your skill. That is the only thing that will give you a, scal a scalable income online. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from Give this video a like so that every other person that is struggling to work online or trying to find work from home opportunities will also see it. And I want you to stay safe as you try to work online or to make money online. And I'll see you in my next video.